Merry Christmas. Now you might be wondering, T, what key starts this truck? I don't know. There's about seven keys to trucks right here. This costs more than your mama's house. <laughs> Boys, I would like to introduce to you the brand new 2021 F550 extended cab gas 7.3. Now you'd be like, T, why gas? Because I'm not stupid. People that drive diesel trucks and think they're more economical are morons. First of all, diesel is $2 more expensive than gas as of Christmas 22. And it gets about the same gas mileage. This thing is gas. It can tow the same, not the same on a torque, but it can do. It can do pretty much about the same thing and gas is everywhere. Now let me show you why I got rid of the diesel and I got this. Number one, why this one is better than the other one. It has a wreath and it's pretty cool. And Randy put a bow on it. This truck is actually really special because it has four wheel drive. My other truck didn't have that. And a lot of people, when I posted on Instagram that I got this truck, they said, why is this truck $100,000? You're an idiot. You can get the exact same truck for 80 grand. Okay, the 100,000 was with tax. Four wheel drive is an extra $5,000. Extended cab, I think is another $6,000, something like that. I got the cloth seats. And the most important part of all, look inside. I got seven inch touchscreen. Wow. Randy put 9,000 miles on this truck already. That's crazy. Where has he been going? Did he take this thing to Tahoe? That's basically. Here, you should use this instead. Oh, okay. The producer requested I use a mic instead. All right, boys. So, with that being said, look inside. Okay, I bet you don't have one of these, right? This is Woody. You are a toy! Randy put him here. Why is there a Woody? I don't know, but it's freaking awesome. Now he's looking good. We had to prop him up in there. Beautiful. I'm gonna show you why this thing is worth 100 bands and why you should definitely have one of these in your company because this makes life so much easier. First, you can dump little materials through here. You have a little pass through. Go ahead and put your finger in there. Didn't think so. Foldable sides. You can put three pallets in here. Maybe four. I gotta ask Randy. I don't remember. This is a gasser. Yes, sir. We have a mud flaps with a hole in it. Very nice. A brand new. It's locked. I can't open it. Majority of this truck really is fantastic. This truck actually came with a Milwaukee grinder. Apparently, I bought this. I had no idea I bought this. These are probably expensive. I went ahead and bought that. I didn't know. People just buy shit, dude. That's what I noticed. They just, the guys, they just buy tools. It's not like they can do it without the tool. They should figure out how to do it without the tool. Why do I have to keep buying tools? I'm very angry about that. You want to climb up in here? We have a pull tarp. Okay, we have a little area for, a oh, cameraman has skills, look at that. We have a pull tarp, we have a little area for tools. This thing comes with turf. But you see there's a lot of room. Dump trucks are very, very, very important because you don't have to waste time getting a little bullshit. And whenever there's a case where we have to throw things away and the dump trailer is too low or you don't want to put dirt in it, this thing never gets stuck. Dump trailers always get stuck. This thing does not. Dump trucks are the way to go. And getting on and off is pretty easy. Leaf springs, heavy duty. Or should we show them the dump? Let's show them the dump, okay. All right, up we go. Like I said, this thing is almost impossible to get stuck. One of the strongest hydraulics is on dump trucks. Dump trailers, no. So one of the coolest features is when you do this and you drive under bridges, just go ahead and full send it under the bridge. You'll be fine. As you can see, the best thing about this is that it's big. And imagine you pulling up to this on your job site versus you pulling up in a 1970s dump truck. People are gonna take you serious, but this thing, people know you're not messing around. One thing I do have to do though is I gotta get this thing tatted up. I don't have any decals on the doors, nothing. Now you're like, T, that's very unprofessional and that's actually illegal. And I would also say, I agree with you, it is illegal, but I like doing illegal things because I'm a hood rat. Now, take a ponder inside and imagine you sitting in this thing and imagine you owning it. And maybe you're the driver. Maybe you wanna buy this and drive your stuff around with it and take it to your job site. That's fine, you could do that. That would be a great offer. This thing is a Cowboys Cadillac, boys. So there are some positives and there are some negatives to this truck. One of the negatives being that it drinks gas like no other. It's about five miles a gallon. Let me make sure I'm telling those numbers accurate. Seven miles a gallon. <laughs> this thing has a full tank right now. And on a full tank, I can only go 200 miles. 
Isn't that crazy? And this is a big truck. That's one thing I don't like about this thing. But luckily, gas is a lot cheaper than diesel. Diesel's around like six fifty in California, and I know in your neck of the woods it's probably two dollars. And you're always complaining about how I'm charging and overcharging for things, but you don't realize California is raping people with taxes and fuel. That's one. But I will say this though: the fuel is a bad offer. And the other bad offer that I don't really like is well, it's a hundred thousand dollars and you have to go and pony up 100 bands for this truck. But luckily for you, we live in America and there's something called financing. But I know that you don't like taking loans out for anything and you wanna pay cash for everything, and that's fine. It's only gonna take you about 10 years longer to scale than if you were to use the American banking system towards your advantage because I know you're a responsible human being and you're able to make payments on time and you don't have to worry about that, right? Let's go for a ride. I'm gonna show you exactly why this is one of my favorite features. Ta-da! That's really important because if you spend any time driving, like it is a pain in the ass. I remember when I had my 2006 F350, my yellow Amarillo truck, I spent, I think like $800 to get a brand new Pioneer touchscreen in just so I can have Google Maps on here. And I did it wrong and it didn't work. Another thing that I kind of don't like about this truck is the seat doesn't go up and down. It just goes in and out, it just slides. But driving this thing, you know this thing is heavy duty because you just feel the weight. Everything is super heavy duty on this. But man, dude, I just realized 200 miles to a full tank of fuel. I gotta ask Randy how many gallons this thing is, but that is bloody shocking. Like 200 miles. But this is the point, boys. Like a lot of you get in business and you're like, oh, I wanna be very meticulous about how much money I spend here and making sure that the employees don't buy gloves and all this shit. Yeah, dude, I mean, at the end of the year, you might have an extra $4,000. But the goal of having a business is for your life to be easier and for all of the people in your company's life to be easier and better. And I'm not saying easier as in you being lazy and taking the day off and fucking going to the beach and drinking a margarita. I'm saying easier where the employees take on the load so you don't have to do as much work. Like I do way less work now than I did five years ago. And I'm so happy with that. Like that to me is winning. Oh wow. One thing that you'll notice with the 550s is with the bed empty, it dries very rough and it's really bumpy. But once you have like, let's say three yards of base rock in the back or sand or pavers, this thing is a, is a Cadillac. It's like, because the, the weight and the springs is so heavy and this thing just rides so smooth. And the mirrors, the mirrors are to die for on this truck. And remember, when you buy one of these, you never want to get an F350 dump truck because the frame is not big enough, the transmission is not the same, the gear axle ratio is not the same. There's a girl in Goking, her name is Kelly. Love her, she's the best. She bought a 350 diesel dump truck for $40,000 and within three weeks of using it, the motor blows the head gasket because it is not meant to tow heavy weight. Not the motor, but the transmission and the axles. It's not meant for that. So the motor is revving extremely high it doesn't need to go that much when you're ready to buy one f550 or nothing else no 450 no 350 no 250 550 dump boy diesel f well not diesel anymore it's gas f550 tank always empty also and remember keep in mind I'm, I'm not really the one driving this truck this is Randy's truck that's why we have his wife's little hair tie right here and Woody <laughs> My life became so much more enjoyable mentally because I wasn't worried about does this person have this and this and this machine, machine, machine. Didn't worry about any of that anymore because we got Randy on deck and Randy really takes care of his part in the business. And Randy's part in the business is literally one of the most important. You might think, oh, a driver, you just pay him $20 an hour and he'll drive for you. Wrong. You're not gonna get a good driver. You're gonna get a shitty driver. You're gonna get a driver that just doesn't really care and he'll just do things. Randy cares and that's why we love Randy. Shout out Randy. Get a driver, but most importantly, find someone like Randy, because Randy's a good dude. And now, for the finale. We're gonna hand this truck off to Randy, and he's gonna go back to driving it, but I'm telling you, if you're ever thinking about buying one of these, don't even think about it, just pull the trigger. It's only money. As long as your life gets easier, it's worth the money. And this thing makes your life easy. Boys, subscribe, thumbs up. Holla at your boy. Peace.